in this video, we'll be discussing the options and going through the steps to either pause or deactivate your Shopify store. There are several reasons why you may want to delete or deactivate your Shopify store, and we'll be going over how you can easily do that. But instead of deleting your store, you could choose to pause your store and use the pause and build plan to make improvements while your store is temporarily closed. This will allow you to take a break from selling while continuing to build and work on your Shopify store. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to either pause or deactivate your store. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you head over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. If you're looking to build an e-commerce store or sell products online, in my opinion, Shopify is the best option you can go with. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. You should then be taken to your account dashboard. On Shopify, there's actually a deactivate button that we can access. To get to the deactivate button, we'll have to go over to the plans menu. So let's head there now by looking at the bottom left of your dashboard and clicking the settings tab. This should open up the Shopify settings menu. If you look at the options on the left hand side, you should see a tab that says plan. Let's click that now. This should open up the plan menu where you can view your Shopify plan details. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you should see the deactivate button. If we click this, it'll open up a menu with several options that we can select from. If you're currently paying monthly for your Shopify plan, you can save some money by switching to a basic yearly plan. If you wanted to deactivate your store, but still have the ability to continue working on it, you could switch to a pause and build plan for only $9 a month. And if you're simply tired of your current store and want to start a new one, you can click start new store to try a new strategy. And of course, at the bottom, you can deactivate your store. If you deactivate your store, you can come back when you're ready because your store's information will be saved for up to two years. But before deactivating your store, there are a few things that you should consider. Make sure you pay any outstanding charges that you have so you won't receive a bill after deactivating your store. Next, make sure you save your store information by exporting CSV files. For example, you can save your bills by exporting your billing history. Also, if you sell gift cards, then make sure you resolve any outstanding balances. If you like, you can simply export your store's gift card CVS file that contains the information you need to resolve any outstanding cards. If you're using a custom domain that you bought from Shopify, then make sure you transfer it to a third party domain provider. And if you have a domain that you bought from a third party, you can remove it from your Shopify store in your Shopify admin. And keep in mind, if you don't remove your domain before deactivating, then you might not be able to use it again. Next, if you have any third party apps that have your payment information outside of Shopify, then make sure you cancel the service with those apps in order to avoid being billed. I recommend uninstalling any third party apps that have recurring charges so that you're not billed for those apps after you pause or deactivate your store. And for those of you that may have received funding through Shopify Capital, pausing your store will affect your remaining capital advances. And finally, before deactivating your store, you should really consider the pause and build plan instead. With the pause and build plan, you can continue to work on your store for only $9 per month. The checkout for your store will be disabled, but you can access your Shopify admin and edit your products when you need. Also, customers will still be able to review your products, but they won't be able to make a purchase. To switch over to the pause and build plan, go ahead and click the change plan now button. But for those of you that aren't interested in the pause and build plan, let's go over how to deactivate your store. First, you could click the start new store tab and deactivate your current store to start a new one. This will open up a window where you can read information about starting your new store and the steps you need to take. Keep in mind, to start a new store, you'll first have to deactivate your existing one. To do this, go ahead and enter your password at the bottom here. Then you can click on the deactivate now button. But if you're not interested in starting a new store, you can simply deactivate your current one. If I click the deactivate store tab, it'll take me to the menu where I can deactivate my store. Before deactivating your store, make sure you've gone over all the different considerations. There's also a drop down menu here so you can select the main reason for closing your store. There are several options to choose from, so simply select the best fit. And after you select your reason, you'll be able to click the continue button and follow the steps to deactivate your store. I'm not planning to deactivate my store, 
but this will be to simply enter your password and click the deactivate now button. You'll then receive an email to confirm your store's deactivation. So that's a quick overview of how to pause or deactivate your Shopify store. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.